What's going on everybody? Chaos here, bringing you guys another video, and we just finished beta weekend, man. It was so much fun. I had so much fun playing this Madden 20 game this weekend. It feels like the three days just flew by. I really, really enjoyed it. I was playing pretty much the entire time. I was in practice mode for a little bit. I played a lot of games. I played a lot of games versus tons of different people. Had so much fun doing that. Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys were lucky enough to get a beta. If you guys were, did you guys enjoy the game? Did you think it's fun? What did you guys think of it? Let me know what your thoughts were. I'm going to be breaking down to you guys today what I thought of the game, my overall thoughts on it, my positives, my negatives, what I think works, what I think don't uh, doesn't work. But I really thought the game overall was awesome, guys. I'd probably right now give it about an 8 out of 10. There's a few things that need fixed, but it's clean. It feels really smooth. Compared to Madden 19, it just feels like a so much better game. Just very well put together. The dev team did a great job, I think, so far. I think minor tweaks here or there, and we can have an awesome year, man. But I, I made a list for you guys of what I thought was positive, what I thought was negative, everything like that. So we're going to jump into that. But if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit that sub button. And if you guys don't mind, please continue to hit that like button for me. If we get 200 likes on this video, I will be dropping you guys a tip video of how to prepare for Madden 20 in Madden 19. So there's thir certain things that you, you can do and start doing for the last month of Madden 19 that can help you to be a better player in Madden 20. And I'm going to give you guys that. Just 200 likes on this video and we can make that happen, guys. But let's get into this video. Okay, guys. So for our positives, I want to start off with the abilities. The abilities, I thought, were, for the most part, pretty amazing. I mean, they really were able to make players feel like they played like they did in real life. Like Aaron Donald was out of this world. He was in your backfield all the time. Tom Brady, he gets all the hot routes. Uh, he was able to have conductor. He just felt better than the fast QBs. Like he felt better than Mahomes, and that's something that you can pretty much never say in Madden. So things like that, I just felt like from top to bottom, the abilities they did a great job incorporating them. They really made them not. They didn't ruin the game. They didn't make it unbalanced. Except for me, maybe, maybe Tom Brady is does do a little much with his ability to do unlimited hot routes with the amount of hot routes he gets on every single player. Uh, I would tend to think so, but everyone else, for the most part, at least in my opinion, felt pretty, pretty even, to be honest with you. And I, I really enjoyed that. Secondly, uh, movement. The game felt smooth. I felt like the, the you were able to like cut and move and sway pretty easily, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Defense, defense tackling was a little bit more difficult because of this, because when you're running with your running back, you could just quickly sway like cut to the left without a one cut there wasn't really any one cutting I didn't notice that as much um, you might even say the movement makes it easier for a person to have stick and I can see maybe some people being frustrated with that uh, for example somebody that's really good last year with the one cut someone was really good with the stop and go now it's a lot easier to do those things maybe it frustrates them because they felt like that was part of the skill gap for them me I just thought it was smooth and it looked good and it felt good so I'm not gonna complain about it I've never been one to have stick either. If you guys know me, I'm Mr. Fall Down, go on to the next play guy. I don't, I don't make people miss like that unless I'm just spamming my B button. So I guess it was okay for me. Click on ability. This is something I absolutely loved, um, especially something I noticed on the outside deep thirds. That was probably the best place to have the ability. Just the ability to have something look open on a corner route or a cross or a post or something and me, me able to click on and rip that thing off. I can't tell you how many picks I got this week and the guy that I'm playing is like, man, that's a completion last year. Like, yeah, it was, but I'm able to click on and move my guy so far, so fast, able to make a play and I love that. I thought that was awesome. Uh, another part was like deep pass on a deep seam streak. It was a lot harder to split it down the middle. Um, if you if you threw it early, yes, you could, but if you threw it late, you could click on that deep path and you're sprinting the other way catching that ball so that was pretty cool the pass rush I thought the pass rush in general was was solid um, if you have a guy like Aaron Donald or Cameron Jordan guys like that those guys were after you they were in your face they're hitting they're hitting their linemen knocking them out the way BAM right by and I love that I thought that was great the uh, the other guys that aren't elite they were solid they were solid like the Pats like Lawrence Guy was pretty good like if you had good stats you were solid I do wish that Tom Brady didn't give secure pass blocker to every single player on his line because it did kind of negate Aaron Donald a bit. It made Aaron Donald felt, feel less like Aaron Donald. If you were, if you had the Rams and you were playing against anybody other than Tom Brady, that man was incredible. I was getting 
probably five, six sacks with them. Uh, now, you have to play good defense. It's not like you can just leave everything open and expect to get him to get a sack. No, like, I was playing some good defense to help me get sacks. But at the same time, like, that guy was – he was getting back there pretty quick. But when I was playing against Tom Brady, he did feel a little bit non-existent. However, for the most part, I thought the pass rush was solid. Blitzes and contains. So you could not – it contains work this year. They're back to working like they were at the beginning of Madden 19. It was very similar to that. You cannot run around like Patrick Mahomes, like with Patrick Mahomes and just go like a madman like before. You can do it somewhat to a degree, but not nearly the same. And it's very, very hard to get a good pass off with that. So that was good. And blitzes, I felt like were good. If you send six people at five men blocking, you are getting a guy free. If it's corner, they are coming very fast. Think about it, guys. In the NFL, if you don't block an extra guy and they send a six at you, that man is literally told, scream at the quarterback's life. And that's what it is. If you don't block an extra guy, they are coming at you if you send six. And I love that. But if you did block six, you could pick it up a decent amount of the time. At least for the blitzes that were found in the beta. We don't know what we're going to find day one, whatever. But for the ones that I at least I play, and I, you guys know I'm probably playing some really good players for the most part. And... There wasn't like anything crazy that we had seen yet. So I thought that was good and I thought it was rather balanced. Overall, the last part just felt fresh, man. It felt bug free. It felt like the game was just a new game and it was fun. It just, it was a different game than we had seen in Madden 19, Madden 18. We were frustrated with Madden 19 and Madden 18. There was just things about it that weren't fun. This game to me felt fun. Now, where's the, was there some negatives? Yeah, and we're going to get to them. But. For the most part, it just felt like a fun game. Even when I was losing, I just was like, man, it was a fun thing. The only part that didn't feel fun to me was like the was the pass leading, and we'll get to that. But other than that, man, I just had a great time this weekend. I wish we were still play playing the beta. But let's get into the negatives. I'm not going to be too negative about it because I really thought the game was great. But I, there are some things that need to fix, and I'm going to jump into that. So let's do that now. Okay, so for the negatives, I mentioned pass leading. Pass leading if you had Tom Brady or Drew Brees was very very frustrating because they have like a pass leading chem something that or ability excuse me that allows them to be better at pass leading but there was a bug in it so anytime you pass let a wide open pass that thing was say it was coming on the bottom of the screen saying accurate pass but it would be 10 yards ahead of the guy and it usually was picked off sometimes it's incompletion but a lot of the times it was picked off so that was frustrating so you could play you could play a really good game making every pass solid and come up with three picks just because of that ability so that was frustrating i can't imagine that not being fixed so i'm not gonna harp on it too much if that isn't fixed it's a big problem but i'll imagine they fix that that shouldn't be too much of a problem wind ups short i don't mind the wind ups and the long passes uh people wind up on deep passes and they ne they have it in the past you were easily just quickly throw it in the past 50 yard bomb that's not the case anymore you have to wind up but they also were doing the long windups on a five yard drag on a running back wheel route, like whatever. It just, it felt like it was too long of a windup. I think they might address that. Hopefully they do. That wasn't as big a problem as the pass leads though. So not, not the biggest deal. Flat zones and yellow zones. So yellow zones really don't do much at all. They, they kind of just stand there. I'm not going to lie. Yellow zones are not very good. You could just like throw a hitch at them all day just, and they won't react to it. You'll catch it. Um, just it wasn't wasn't a fan of yellow zones and flat zones they don't play great either uh, I was playing a lot of cover three because of the fact that if I had a cloud out there or had a soft squat you could get over it pretty quickly and you could also so the thing about the cloud flat was you could throw over it for 20 yards but if you threw under it you get about eight minimum so that was kind of frustrating and then hard flats they're still the same as the years past where they don't pick off the flat if you throw at it. It's usually just an incompletion or or a catch for one or two yards. So that's kind of frustrating. But overall, I did really think cover three was the best zone coverage, and I, I enjoyed that. So we'll see what the game looks like on launch. Hopefully the zones play a little bit better, especially, especially the yellow zones. I just hope they react to something better. So thirdly, quick hike and route ability combo. So... Tom Brady not only has secure pass blocker on every single one of his linemen, he also has the ability to basically do unlimited hot routes in a row, and uh, he gets posts and corner routes on every every single receiver, and he does something even better for other 
I'll just I'm just gonna leave it at that all right he does something even better too for everyone else in the field I'm just gonna leave it like that but the ability to combine those things just felt like it was crazy overpowered I was I was making five hot routes and hiking before my before my opponent could set up anything bro they, they couldn't do anything I think the quick hike fine take away the route ability you want the route ability take away the quick hike I don't think you can have both I really don't I don't think you'll find one player that disagrees with me on this. I do not think you can have both of them on him. I can deal with the route abilities, but give me some time to set up so I can actually adjust to those route abilities. Okay, I can deal with the quick hike, but don't let the guy put post corner corner and, and anything's open. You know what I mean? Like, it, and I can't adjust to that. So you can't do both, in my opinion, and hopefully they, they tune it down a little bit, but we'll see. Man coverage. So yes, I said something about man coverage earlier this week. And everybody's like, oh, man coverage isn't that good. There's man beaters. Yeah, there's man beaters. I have a, I have some man beaters. I can beat man coverage if it's literally stock two man under every single play. But that, to me, maybe, maybe people disagree. I don't know. I had post routes literally getting ran for me. The guy will be running the post, and the defender will be four yards ahead of him. Literally just in the spot where he's going. Like, literally three to four yards ahead of him. I'm not even kidding. Like... When would a guy ever in man coverage ever do that? No, they, it's one thing, okay, you want to run step for step with him and he's boxed. Yeah, I can't throw that. Cool. I won't throw it. It's not open. But he was literally running the route for him three to four yards ahead of him. I feel like in the NFL, the guy would just turn around. Like, maybe I'm wrong. Shoot. If you guys think I'm wrong, tell me in the comment section if you played the beta. But there was routes I felt like they were literally running for him. Yes, I had some man beaters, and I did a good job against man coverage this week. I had I had success first, pretty much everything on offense. I felt offense, I felt really good on offense. But I do think man coverage was a bit overpowered. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I do not think they should be running the routes for the person ever. It's one thing to box it up completely and run step for step with them. It's another to be three yards ahead. So that's just me. But we'll move on. Ability balance. So on offense, there's players. Todd Gurley, with his ability, made his offensive line block better. Maybe it was even the receivers, too, on outside zones. It's called outside zone specialist. Tom Brady made his entire O-line have secure pass blocker, and all of his receivers have route abilities. So offensive players gave it to their whole team. A guy like Aaron Donald doesn't boost his left end and right end while rushing the passer. He just increases his own ability to rush the passer. So... I do think there needs to be some kind of balance with that. I don't think there was a single chem or ability, excuse me, that allowed the entire defense to improve. So Stefan Gilmore was just great on his own. He's going to play great zone. He's going to play great man. But he didn't make his other corners play great man. So I just do think it was a little weird for offensive players to boost everyone on their team while a defender only boosts his individual self. Just my opinion. Who knows? But that's it for the positives and negatives. I know it did seem like I might have been harping on the negatives. Guys, I want to stress you, this game is very good. I had lots of fun playing it. These are the short list of things that I felt like needed fixed. But overall, I loved it. I hope you guys did too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, 200 likes on this video. And I will give you guys t uh, a tip video on how to improve in Madden 19 going into Madden 20. It will help prepare you guys and help you guys get ready. Oh, man, guys. I'm so excited. Let's get it. Appreciate y'all. Love you. Peace.